In November 2009, over 20 countries came together to establish the South Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization. A fisheries convention was drawn up and structured to manage non-highly migratory fisheries in the high seas. The convention sets out how the fisheries of the South Pacific will be managed and addresses one of the world's last remaining governance gaps for high seas fisheries. Yeah, the Western Central Pacific um, Fisheries Commission is now a fairly if, uh, uh, active and effective commission compared to many of the other regional tuna uh, fisheries management organizations. It has a robust MCS framework in place. It has a high seas boarding and inspection uh, procedure process in place. It has a, a, a w operating VMS and it has now uh, effective conservation management measures in place largely driven by Pacific Seeds, supported by Jeff funding. So you know, I think to that extent that's a, a substantive uh, contribution by, by Jeff. The scope of fisheries development in Manuato is, is quite unique apart from other Pacific Island member countries because uh, we are also a uh, flag state, so not only that we're in charge of uh, anything that happens within our national waters, but uh, we also have a number of vessels that operate uh, under the Vanuatu uh, vessel registry in other tuna commissions uh, throughout the world, which we are a party to. Uh, the whole impetus was driven by the Pacific Island countries. They, they initiated the process, they coordinated it through the Forum Fisheries Agency, and Jeff supported the participation of uh, Pacific Island countries in the initial um, preparatory conference stages. With the new norm of climate change and impacts on, on coastal uh, ecosystem, I think uh, small island developing states, including Vanuatu, are very much vulnerable and having GEF uh, assisting us in, in some of these areas. Uh, I think it's just beginning to address a number of major issues that uh, we still need to, to look at on a, on a bigger scale. It's important to manage tuna because it's a shared resource and also because um, for many of the Pacific Island countries it is their only renewable resource um, and for some of them it's their only natural resource. So uh, from an economic perspective it is, provides uh, a backbone for the economic development. The coastal sector has a lot of sort of uh, partners involved. Tourism becomes very important. Uh, certain presentation that came out this morning have shown that uh, uh, tourism has uh, a lot of uh, play in, in, in it, especially with regards to uh, uh, the G GDP that countries do get out from it. And I think coastal fisheries, GEF addressing the issues of coastal fisheries is also very important and we would like to see that.